Hey everyone, it's Shereen Kassam from MyPainCenter.com, your headquarters for CBD, Delta 8, and Delta 10, and maybe soon all the other stuff that's coming out. Okay, so today I want to address this FDA article that came out recently. A lot of people have been sending us emails about it, so I just want to talk a little bit about what this article means. Now, what is the FDA? Now, the FDA is the Food and Drug Administration that is responsible for protecting the public health by ensuring the safety, efficacy, and security of human and veterinary drugs, biological products, and medical devices, and by ensuring the safety of our nation's food supply, cosmetics, and products that emit radiation. So you've probably used an FDA-approved product already today if you're sitting down to watch this. So when you woke up in the morning, the toothpaste you used, the conditioner you used in your hair, the makeup you put on your face, the bowl of cereal you poured, all of that stuff is approved by the FDA. Now, CBD and Delta-8 have not been approved by the FDA. So every six months to a year, the FDA puts out an article like this to kind of scare consumers about these products. But when we read this article, nowhere does it say that you should not use Delta-8. It says five things to know about Delta-8, okay? So these are just, they're just trying to let you know so that they, that nobody can come back and say, hey, FDA, why didn't you tell us these things? So the FDA put this, put the, put this article out that says five things to keep in mind. The first thing to keep in mind is Delta-8 THC products have not been evaluated or approved by the FDA for safe use and be marketed in a way that puts the public health at risk. This is true. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Some concerns include variability in product formulations and product labeling, other cannabinoids and terpene content, and variable Delta-8 concentrations. So what they're saying is sometimes when you're buying something like this, this is a Delta-8 jar, these gummies are 25 milligrams each. How do you know? How do you know there's not more than 25 milligrams in here? How do you know there's less than 25 milligrams in here? So that's what the FDA is worried about, that we're not labeling our products correctly. Now here is how you as the consumer can check. We cl clearly say on this bottle that each gummy bear is 25 milligrams. And then you should always have a QR code. Whenever you purchase any product, there should be a QR code. You should be able to scan that QR code and match up that the amount that the QR code, so the QR code will take you a, to a lab results. The lab results should be done by a third party. The third party lab results will tell you how much concentration of Delta-8 is in the product and it will match what it should say on the labeling. Of course, there's gonna be a little bit plus or minus change here or there, right? The FDA is concerned by the proliferation of products that contain Delta-8 THC and are marketed for therapeutic or medical uses, although they have not been approved by the FDA. Okay, so this is what, I, what, what, what they mean by this is that there's companies out there and 12 of them actually got um, a letter of warning about this, that they're saying, use our Delta-8 products to cure your PTSD or to cure your chronic pain. Anytime you see the word cure or resolve or something to that diagnose, you, your alarm bell should go off. This deceptive marketing of unproven treatments raises significant public health concerns because patients and other consumers may use them instead of approved therapies to treat serious and even fatal diseases. Now, what's interesting is they say this, but they don't give any reports. They don't, they don't talk about any reports that they've had about people doing this. But say you have cancer, right? Don't think that you should just be taking Delta-8 to cure cancer because somebody marketed it that Delta-8 can help you cure cancer. You should still go see a doctor and talk through all the different uh, procedures or the different diagnoses that you can go through and talk to them about Delta-8 and CBD. So what the FDA is saying is don't just believe the marketing that you're reading. And it's the same thing with weight loss drugs. It's the same thing with makeup that says it's gonna make your skin lighter, but really it's using bleach on your skin. And the manufacturers just need to be more honest and truthful in their advertising. Okay, the second thing the FDA says is the FDA has received adverse event reports involving Delta-8 THC containing products. This is true. When we were selling Delta-8, we were selling you this bottle of Delta-8, 25 milligram gummy bears. We were expecting you to read the back and see that it said suggesting, suggested serving a half a gummy to one gummy. What was happening? People were taking a full gummy. That's 25 milligrams of Delta-8. People had never smoked weed before, had never taken a marijuana edible before, were now taking 25 milligrams. Then what was happening is that in 20, 30 minutes, they weren't feeling anything. So what did they do? They took another one, then they took another one, then they took another one, and then four hours later, they were stoned, they were high, they were 
hallucinating, vomiting, tremors, anxiety, dizziness, confusion, loss of consciousness. Okay. All of that was happening because people were not aware of the side effects of taking too much Delta eight. Okay. Now here's something else they say about this. They, this, for this one, they're actually giving you event reports. These are things that they've heard. The national poison control center received these cases, right? They received 2,362 exposure cases about Delta eight, 41% involved pediatric patients less than the 18 years of age. 82% of these had unintentional exposures affected pediatric patients. And one pediatric case was coded with a medical outcome of death. This is where this becomes serious now. Okay. We're talking about children losing their lives, children being exposed to Delta eight children, getting their hands on this product. Now they say under the age of 18. So we don't know how many of those people are actually, how many of those kids are actually purchasing this product for themselves or they're finding their parents stash our Delta eight gummies. And our Delta 10 gummies all come with a childproof lock, right? It's all childproof lock. So like a young kid can't open this. Could a my teenage, I say my teenager, I don't have a teenager. Could a teenager open it? Sure. But am I going to leave it out for a teenager to find it? I would hope not. Okay. So this is something that the FDA is warning about, but we as the consumer can do our part to make sure that this stops happening. Okay. Number three, Delta eight THC has psychoactive and intoxicating effects. Delta H products are getting consumers high. True. This is really happening for two reasons. One consumers are not aware that Delta eight can make you high. How do you stop it from doing it? You do what I asked you to do. You take your gummy bear and you cut it into four pieces or smaller, and you take a very small amount because what you're trying to do is trying to get the benefits of Delta eight, right? You're not trying to get the high or the stone. Maybe you are, and that's part two. But if you start with a really small amount, that's all your body may need. So yes, Delta eight will get you high, but you can control that high. You can control those effects by taking my suggestion for those of you who are taking Delta eight to get high, be careful. So take it in a safe space. Do not take it while operating heavy machinery. Do not take it while driving a car. Do not take it around your children and be careful. Do not be the person that gets Delta eight banned because you were being stupid with it. We had a guy right on our YouTube channel. Like he was trying to get through the whole bottle of gummy bears. He wanted to see how many gummy bears he could eat before he saw God. That's stupid. Not only is it stupid to do that, it's stupid to put it on YouTube and tell the world that you're doing that because the FDA sees that kind of stuff. And that's why the FDA wants to ban Delta eight because of that stupidity. Okay. Number four, Delta H products often involve use of potentially harmful chemicals to create the concentration of Delta eight THC claims in the marketplace. So what they continue to say is some, not all, some manufacturers may use potentially unsafe household chemicals to make Delta eight THC through this chemically synthesis process. This is true. How do you avoid these manufacturers? You buy your Delta eight products from reputable companies. You buy your Delta eight products from companies that can show you the lab results. Again, you're going to click that QR code and you should get lab results from a third party. You also want to ask them to see the chemical and pesticide lab results of their Delta eight, which will show you how the Delta eight, if the Delta eight has these chemicals that the FDA is talking about. Manufacturing of Delta eight THC products may occur in uncontrolled or unsanitary settings, which may lead to the presence of unsafe contaminants or other potentially harmful substances. Okay. Again, you can control this as the consumer by purchasing Delta eight only from reliable sources of Delta eight gummies and checking the chemical and pesticide lab report. And number five, Delta eight products should be kept out of the reach of children and pets. Okay. So that's basically what the FDA is trying to say. They're not, they're not trying to tell you not to use Delta eight. They're kind of just trying to scare you, but they're trying to scare you in a good way. They want you as the consumer to make smarter decisions. They want you to do your research. They want you to keep this product away from your kids, away from your teenagers. They want you to be careful of how much Delta eight you're using. They don't want you to get high. They don't want you to feel stoned. They don't want you to call poison control. They also don't want you to bypass treatment plans or medications or opportunities to get better from your illness because somebody told you that Delta eight could cure you. Okay. So they really are just putting your best interest at heart, but they're also not saying don't use Delta eight. They're not saying do not stop using Delta eight. They're just saying, be careful 
and go and do your research. And feel free, ask us questions. Like I said, we lab test all our products. We use our products, so we're not trying to kill ourselves or take anything that's going to adversely hurt us. So drop your questions below. Visit us at mypaincenter.com, and we're here to answer all your questions.